Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to download Roshade, delete all the unwanted junk, like all the unwanted presets and everything. Because I'm getting a lot of requests to do that, and I just, I don't want to explain to every single person that asked me. So anyways, uh, I guess here that is. So first, you're gonna want to go to this website. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is click Roshade 1.4.1.zip. It might be a, like a later variant by the time you guys go to this website but uh just download whatever it's here pretty much and uh, it's gonna show you open file you're gonna want to click roshade setup once uh, file explorer opens and uh extract all and uh just follow the wizard that pops up and uh you're going to want to go to the place where you extracted all the files and complete the roshade setup Okay, I, my computer's kind of bugging. You're gonna want to complete the rush shade setup using this wizard here. And I uh, just click I agree. And uh, I preferred using home and end instead of F7 and F8 because it's harder to reach F7 and F8 and some people have that binded to other stuff. And you're gonna want to install all of these things because I find if you don't, you could bug out and you have to do the whole process over again. And it's pretty easy to uh, delete later all these uh, pretty garbage presets. And once that's done, everything should just work. If you go to Roblox, if you go to Roblox again, uh, you should be able to just open Roshade by uh, pressing Home or uh, F7. But right now, okay, Roshade works. I can turn it on and off. But uh, it might just be me, but this is kind of ugly. So what I'm going to do, open the this tab up here. Let me close the MSI. Open this tab up here, copy this directory, and open File Explorer. Copy the uh, directory that you just copied from Roshade into your search bar on File Explorer. And there should be this entire, all of these uh, presets here. Quick example here, let's say um, they want to save glossy.ini. Because every time Roblox updates, Roshade, um, you have to reinstall Roshade along with all of its uh, all of its contents. So you have to remake all your presets. And to avoid doing that, you can just copy uh, Roshade, the, the Roshade directory over here, and copy into another folder. So I'm gonna just uh, make a new folder and uh, call it Roshade presets. You can call it whatever you want. And paste the glossy preset here. And let's pretend that Roblox got an update and my presets got deleted. All you have to do is come over to uh, to the folder I just created, open it up, select it, and copy it. Or uh, let me do this so it's easier to see. And copy it, and go over to the Roshade preset, and uh, paste it in here. And there you go. And uh, it's Control V to paste, by the way, and Control C to copy. And uh, now I'm going to move on to using my preset and give you guys a little showcase of it because I feel like it's so much better what comes with Roshid. Okay, here, here's all of my settings. I'm going to use my high preset. I'll list all the, I'll, I'll list the medium, high, and ultra in my description. But I, me personally, I like using the high because it doesn't completely destroy my computer. In my opinion, this is, I spent a lot of time on this and I feel like it looks pretty good. It kind of like, it adds this like glow to everything sort of, but it doesn't really bloom out like blooming does. And it's, I feel like it looks pretty good. I'll just give a, I'll walk around a little bit. Uh, just ignore those people over there. Um, oh yeah, I'll list this game in the description too. I'll walk around without Rochade for now a little bit just to see how just give you guys an idea of how this game looks. And I'm going to turn straight back on. Okay, well one thing is, um, this preset is pretty laggy though. As you can see, with Roshade on, my GPU is at about 80% usage on this pretty uh, easy to run area of the map. And it's drawing close to like 90 watts. That's pretty, that's pretty intensive for a Roblox game. If I turn Roshade off though, 
the GPU clocks way down, goes to about like 50-70% usage depending on what's happening on the screen, and it's only drawing 30 watts now. So if you do have a pretty low-end GPU, uh, I'm just going to pour a random number. If you have anything below like, like a 1660, I probably wouldn't use this preset. Um, the first thing I would turn off is a reflective bump mapping, which is exactly what I did in my medium preset. And you can see if I turn it off, it goes from 70%, uh, 80% usage to 60%. It's still a lot more than not having row shade on at all. But uh, it's way easier to run and has most of the most of the graphics benefits for my preset. But I'm I'm gonna keep a uh, reflective mapping on because it does look pretty cool. Um, I just realized I didn't show you guys how to download the file that I made, the, the Rochade presets. So um, I quickly threw together Google Docs. And um, I do realize this is kind of a suspect. So I will show you guys how to, I will show you guys my Rochade preset. Um, how do I, I actually, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't done this before. But uh, I'm pretty, you just click download. And uh, you download it to just a random file. I'm gonna just leave it was out of outside of a folder because I'm gonna delete this pretty soon. And uh, we can just go to that, go to wherever you downloaded it, copy it, um, copy it, and uh, go to your row shade uh, directory, which you should have copied earlier, and just you paste it here. Uh, you copy the the preset that you downloaded earlier and put it in your Roche directory and it should just pop up on Roblox. That's not what I meant to click. You should just pop up here and everything just works.